Weawaka, a retreat for women on the shores of Lake George, was established in 1903 by Mary Wilty Fuller. It arose out of the women's rights movement at the turn of the century. The daughter of Troy industrialist, Miss Fuller became aware of the need for respite for the working women in shirt collar factories, mills, and laundries of Troy and Cahoes. Vacation and recreation were beyond the means of these hardworking women. Radical in her day, Miss Fuller recognized the need for an affordable vacation for immigrant girls and women who made low wages. When it officially opened, Weawaka Retreat, which in the Abenaki language means great spirit and woman, could accommodate up to 38 women at a weekly rate of $3.50 per room and board. Through her association with the Girls' Friendly Society of the Episcopal Church, Miss Fuller approached Katrina Trask and her husband Spencer, a wealthy New York City financier, about helping find a location for her retreat for the women. A civic-minded philanthropist and a progressive woman, Miss Trask leased Miss Fuller land located on the southeastern shore of Lake George. The following year, Miss Trask sold the property to Miss Fuller for one dollar and a bouquet of flowers. The retreat afforded the weary and overworked women and girls an opportunity to rest and recuperate, offering nourishing food, invigorating air, pleasant quiet rooms, and the cool shade of the broad verandas. At that time, women did not swim in public, but because Weawaka was a sheltered retreat, its female guests were able to enjoy swimming in the lake. Canoeing and boating were also popular. Today, Weawaka continues to be a welcoming environment for women of different backgrounds, and it provides financial assistance for those with little to no income who cannot afford Weawaka's regular seasonal rates. <laughs>